Right, I'm all set up to start on a new design which I've been working on but I want to show you how to do um, a particular edging on your project, your, your rug um, and this is called the folded double canvas latch hooked edge bit of a mouthful, can't think of anything um, shorter for it really it's different to normally just a way you would normally work on your canvas with just having it laid flat this you turn all the edges under and work on them as you go along. You can see I've turned it under here and my canvas is gridded so I'm going to start on the blue line which is turned under right on the edge. So you can see that the extra canvas that you get when you buy a kit you now turn under. So this is the edge that I'm going to be working along and then the side here it's also turned under and this has got the selvage on it but you don't have to have the selvage on just as long as you've got four or five um, holes to work through together um, it's absolutely fine. Just to give you a bit more of an idea I have I want you to pretend that this is your latch hook rug okay miniature one and to give you more of an idea you'll be turning under the bottom edge like that and you'll be turning under your side edges like that and when you get to the top of your rug as you work along your rows you will be turning that under and latch hooking through that as well right so we'll start on our first row and on the first row because we are working through two layers of the canvas here on the edge because you've turned your edge under you don't work on this corner bit here because that would be four layers of canvas and that would be ridiculously tricky and your yarn wouldn't be long enough. So I'm going to start through the two layers of canvas, my first knot. It's always a little bit tricky when you first um, start but you'll soon get the hang of it. So there are four holes here, give each knot a good, uh, a good tug four holes along this edge before we hit the selvage. I'll show you what I mean in a minute by the selvage for those of you that don't know. The selvage is here where fabric and canvas is finished off. Um, I leave it on if I've got a, a rug design that's that width that uses up right up to the edge of the selvage so that I can then turn under. It adds strength to your rug but it's not necessarily especially if you're doing um, latch hooking through both layers here so as you can see I've done the first four knots here and you can see the knots come through on the other side of the canvas the two layers of canvas now you, these two holes here you would work through just the one layer of canvas because they um, the selvage is in the way so basically you wouldn't be able to get through so I'll just do those couple of knots Right, now we've done that, give those all a nice tug. We're going to work along this row here. Because I'm using gridded canvas, it's my blue line, but that would just be the first line, first row of your design, according to your chart, or if it's one that's got transferred colours on it. So I'm going to start working along here. And that, of course, is just one layer of canvas. So we'll continue along this edge now which is just the single blue line right on the edge it's not double canvas yet that'll be on the next row and I'm going to work my way along here I'm going to do the second row of the folded double canvas latch hooked edge that I'm showing you about on the edge here where it's folded under as I showed you before the two um, layers of canvas on this row you're going to latch hook through both layers of canvas so you can see that knot's gone over the canvas there on the edge here but not through that corner because that would be four um, layers of canvas and that would be far too much your, your yarn wouldn't be long enough um, and it would spoil the look of the corner and it would probably pull out to be honest I don't think it would actually stay in position so I just need to make sure I'm following my design while I'm showing you this now then, because we've got the edge and underneath is the selvage, 
for this yarn I can only go through the first four rows on this canvas sorry the first four rows and then we have the selvage in the way so you just go through the one layer of canvas like this and then now we are back to doing through both layers now this is where it just a little bit tricky just for a minute you might want both hands you're going through, you're picking up both bars through both layers of the canvas and latch hooking through both of those. So I'll just do a few more knots and then you should be able to get the idea of what it's going to look like. So you can see it's just a little bit tricky on the corners but once you get going it's, uh, it's a lot, lot easier. Just make sure that each time you do a knot, you give it a good tug. I always like to do that to secure them in place. Because the last thing you want is them getting loose and pulling out at a later date. Um, that's one of the reasons why I use uh, Super Grip on the back of my projects. Not only does it you know, stop them from slipping about, but it also holds your yarn in place. But it's not um, essential, it's just what I like to do. Right, so I've done enough here that I'll just be able to turn it over and show you now. That was your edge row, and now this is your first row on going through both layers of canvas. Can you see this? You're not going through this bit here because that's the corner, but you are going through the edge through both layers, and you can just see the knots there if you look closely. Right, now you can see I've done several rows on my project that I'm working on at the moment. And I turn it over so you can see what it looks like through the folded double canvas latch hooked edge. You can see how I've knotted over both layers of canvas and now it looks nice and neat and integrated. And then the next two rows after the double um, layer of canvas, you can see that I've done there. And on the corner, you just have this little bit of canvas, two layers of canvas on the corner that's folded over that you don't latch hook into but you can see I've latched up through the double layer up on the edge and I will continue to do that through those layers, those two layers there, all the way up my project as I latch hook, integrating those into the rug and creating a nice firm edge, which is going to reinforce the edge, which is the most important bit and the one that's a bit vulnerable especially if you're going to actually use this as a rug which all my kits are designed to be used uh, I suppose if you were doing a, a wall hanging it wouldn't be so important um, but again it does give you a really nice finish as you can see the wall um, lies really nicely um, this you do exactly the same mirror image on the other side of your project. So exactly the same on this side. You will continue working your rows up to the top of your project. And when you get to the top, you'll have your folded edge over and you will latch hook through all of these layers, just like I have the two layers that I have, apart from the edge layer at the top, where you will just go through the one on the blue line, just how we started right at the beginning. If you want to hear on the corner where this canvas hasn't been worked, you can stitch that down. If it's just going to be wall hanging, that's absolutely fine. If you are going to use this, um, use your project as a rug, then um, you wouldn't need to bother stitching that down if you're going to bind it with rug binding, um, I, as I always like to do, because again, it's just extra protection. So when you rug bind, the binding will cover that over as you work along and stitch along. So that will be no problem and no one will actually see that. Right, you can see that I've made some headway on this design, um, but I wanted to show you again on the other side what the folded double canvas latch hooked edge looks like um, so that you can see the opposite corner is exactly the mirror image of the other side. So we're looking at the other side now on the opposite corner and you can see how it's disappeared the folded edge as I've um, latch hooked over both layers. It looks lovely and neat and it keeps a nice firm edge. And in the corner, you can see it's exactly the same as the other corner. We've worked just through the two layers of canvas but not through the four layers because that would be too thick. And then down the side I'm working along 
Right, I've reached the other end of my rug now, so I can show you how you would finish off at the other end. It's virtually the same, but just so it's nice and clear for you all. I have folded over the edge, just like we did on the sides and the beginning. And um, I have folded it on the last row of the design that you will be hooking into, because you want that covered, so you'll be hooking into that all the way along and through the canvas. So I'm going to do a couple of rows and then you can see how what it looks like. Right, I'm just working along the last row which is right on the edge of your rug and so as you see it is covering the canvas and then you get a nice clean edge and I just want to be able to show you that you've got that edge there, you turn it over, you've got your rows here that you've worked through the two layers of rug canvas. There's your corner where you just work through the two layers of the edge but you don't need to go through that as I've shown you before and that will be your rug finished when you've worked all those last rows. Hope you found the video useful. Uh, I've got lots of other videos on YouTube and you can also come and say hi to me on Facebook and I've got uh, an Instagram account as well all under the name of Utterly Hooked Designs. Have a good day everyone. Bye!